So good morning, everybody. Good afternoon. Good evening. Good night. Have a good day, depending on where you guys are at. Um, today is December thirteenth. Um, if those of you guys that do not know, today is my mother's birthday. She is not low. She's no longer with us. Um, this vlog miss, I, I try to do it, but then I will start crying. I went into the ugly cry. Wasn't it, wasn't it graceful? Oh, Mary. I went into the, oh, 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 oh. Then know? I would do it again. Then I would start crying. Um, and honestly, I don't think that I'm going to be able to have a, just a successful video of just talking, honey. Um, you know, I'm just, I guess, too emotional. Um, <laughs> honestly. Um, but today I'm not going to do nothing. Today I'm going to edit the video from yesterday. Um, finishing editing the video from yesterday so I could post it. I'm so sorry for not keeping up. Um, this, um, situation of the moving plus... My mother's birthday being the 13th. You know, it, it every year is different. Last year was really, really rough. This year is not as rough as last year, but it's still, you know, rough. Spirit and energy and everything is all over the place, okay? Um, I would like to just say in this video... Today's just not one of them days. Not one of them days. <laughs> um, you know, cry, laugh before you cry, okay? Um, you know, I want to thank God for giving me not, not only did he create a wonderful person, but for allowing me to be the son of a wonderful woman. I always cry, so at this point, I'm not even going to try to, like, redo it. It's actually a cute cry, honey. Okay, now, y'all should have seen, honey. <laughs> y'all should have seen the first one I did. Lord, honey, that was a mess. <laughs> but God, I want to, like, you know, God, I don't, my mother was a very different, different person, okay? My mother was extremely honest, but not rude with it. In my opinion, but other people's opinion, it could have been seen as rude. She was, and it was not rude, it was just honest. And you know, honesty does hurt. What I meant to say was the truth does hurt. That's why in life, you know, I was so close to her. She was my mother, she was my best friend, and everything. So in life, you know, now I talk to people, they're like, oh, you're just so blunt. Oh, you just, and I'm like, but what's the problem with that? Because I never saw that as a problem because it was never a problem between me and my mother. My mother was my best friend live together, work together. She was my sister, honey. We talked about everything. You know, that was me, my mother and I's relationship. She was my number one best friend. And my mother, and my father, and my, you know, all of that. So, with that being said, you know, my mother will give you the shirt off her back, but she was not the person that you'll look and be like, oh yeah, I know she's gonna give it. No. When she was your friend, she will help you to then and back. My mother was independent. She did all this stuff by herself. She came and built from the ground up businesses by herself. No man, no family, by herself. Um, yes, here and there, you know, family did help in different businesses that she did, meaning hair salons, but most of them were by herself, okay? So for somebody that comes from another country, okay, not another city, not another state, another country being Dominican Republic, came to the United States, worked, got her first business by herself with the help of a best friend. Um, she got her first business. Then from there, she opened up another salon, another salon by herself. And, you know, um, she was a courageous woman, honey. She was very, you know, the way I talk, you know, she was just kind of like that as well. <laughs> you know, um... She had a drag king and a drag queen or whoever inside her. She was very much that person. Um, she was amazing. She taught me, you know, or let me know without having to tell me. That was one thing that I wish she could have done better was express love. Because that's one thing she never did. Um, I don't know if it was because of her upbringing. I don't know because of her past. But one thing that me and my mother never really experienced was, oh, mom, I love you and hug and kisses. We did not do that. Um, and this video is going to be very raw, so may, you, may, you may not want to see it, okay? I should, put, I should have put that at the beginning. Um, so at the end of the day, me and my mother, that's one thing we never did. Um, 
I also did not know how to express emotions that way because at the end of the day sometimes some certain things are taught so was our relationship since from a baby i never had that oh my baby oh. i never had that i never really had that with her even though i loved her to death honey i i still love her to death i you know i would do anything for my mother when i say anything for my mother i mean anything for my mother it was, it was like okay Go ahead and rob this bank and you'll save your mother. I would, without hesitation, would have done it. I would do anything for my mother. My mother was everything to me. Um, we were just like this. Everywhere you saw my mother, was, I was there with her. She was there with me. And it was not because, you know, when she was older, even when we were younger, I was a kid that I wanted to be around my mother. I wanted to be around her. Um, yeah, when I was really young, I had friends and stuff like that. But I still wanted to be around my mother. Like, I was a my mother's boy. Like, I love my mother. And... With that being said, you know, it, I am glad that I was as tight to her as I was because it taught me so much about her. And one thing about her that she always let me understand from a young age was never judge anybody, okay? I never knew for once what it was to look at somebody and be like, oh, they're black. Oh, they're Spanish. Oh, they're fat. Oh, they're green. Oh, they're purple. Oh, they're Christian. Oh, they don't believe in God. Oh, never. I never for once in my life was taught to judge anybody upon whatever it is they look like, upon whatever it is they believe in, okay? As long as they're not hurting you, you do not judge them. Judge them. So I was not that kid walking around. And there's a lot of kids out there, okay? They be walking around and see somebody looking different. Could be, you know, somebody that's too tall, somebody that's too skinny, somebody that's too fat, somebody that, you know, looks... You know, in their opinion, weird or whatever, they will be staring. Try to lock in. <laughs> Not blinking either. Yeah. Oh. I had one time to stare at anybody, and my mother would have clocked that, and I would have been whooped, or slapped over the head, pinched on the ear, something. Or discipline. Even though this is not a great world that we're living in, honestly, she never for once wanted me to grow up. Okay, she used to always say to use these words. I don't know where I'm gonna be, so I gotta make sure that you're gonna be okay. Meaning, you know, if she was not, not here when I was growing up, she wanted to make sure I was going to be okay. So she taught me respect, you know, respect my elders, um, you know, and all that stuff. Like, if I go to your house, I don't, I'm the person, this, this is what I do when I go to people's houses. Still to this day, okay? Let's say we know each other, whatever. Hi, how are you? If you don't tell me to come in, I'm not just going to be like, oh my God, and just walk in, honey. Okay? Like a vampire. No, let me stop. Okay, it's not that serious. Okay, but let me tell you for real. <laughs> um, so I go to your house. And I'm like, oh, how are you? If you don't tell me to sit down on the couch, I will literally stand, stay there standing up. Because my mother used to always say, you don't know who couch belongs to who. You don't just sit down on people's furniture. And you don't, you don't know. Some people don't want you to sit down on the furniture. So I will not sit down. I could be thirsty. I could be hungry. I could be dying of starves, Tony. I want to ask for no drink. I want to ask for nothing. Only if you offer. If you offer, I will take it if I want it. But I will not just be like, oh, yeah, let me just go. Could I get up? Oh, no. Okay? That's two. Three. If I go and I've been going to your house, I will not go in your refrigerator. Unless you tell me, go get a beer in there or whatever. Then I would probably go because you told me. But I will not go in nobody's refrigerator. Even if I'm comfortable with you and we're friends, I still will not go. To, you know, because at the end of the day, you don't know who. That may not be yours. I don't know. So I'm not going to go to you and be like, oh, girl, I can I eat this? Oh, can I have? No, I don't do that, okay? Another thing I don't do, I don't go in people's rooms either. Unless you tell me, come in my room. <laughs> Or invite me to your room. I don't just be like, hey, girl, what you doing in your room? Ha <laughs> ha, let me. No, that's respect. Like, that is who I am because of who and how my mother raised me. Now, today, it's like I be encountering a lot of people that don't do none of that. So I'm like, girl, what are you doing? Okay, honey. Boundaries, honey. I, you know. <laughs> um, so, yeah. And it, you know, it's crazy. Um, my mother always, you know, she never judged me. When I was, you know, when I, you guys know the story when I came out. When I came out, it was like, Mom, I'm gay. And she was like, so. And I thought that was like the biggest so ever. I was like, oh, you're so Because I didn't have the story. I wanted a story. I wanted to say, okay, one day I'm going to tell my kids, okay, hey, this is how it happened with your grandmother. And you know, this is a story. But my story is, we're watching news. 
um, after school and I was sitting there and we used to call gay people livianito, which means lightweight. Um, because another thing too, we never addressed um, gay with uh, the actual word of gay or homosexual. It was always like a little cute word, honey. Like um, poodles, livianito, like that. So with that being said, um, I told her, oh, mom, I'm a, I'm lightweight. I'm, I'm livianito. You know, livianito, like, you know, lightweight, honey. And she was like, and? And that just crushed my soul, and we, we just never talked about it. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, I now, you know, knew they was just like, okay, she just did not care. Like, she knew already. So she never judged me when I was very feminine, okay? Wearing weaves, you know, she did my weave. Wearing weaves, wearing fake nails, wearing makeup. Um, in the earlier YouTube videos, when I was wearing makeup, you know, in the beginning of me wearing makeup, it was not that she did not accept me wearing makeup. It was that me respecting her. I did not want her to see it. So I don't remember exactly how it was that she saw me the first time in makeup. Um, there's a story, but I, I I can't quote if that was the first time. But I know there was a story, and yeah, maybe that was the first time. I think that was the first time. Okay, so let me tell you this story because well, this video is already twelve minutes long already, honey. But let me tell you this story real quickly. So this guy that I date. Oh, I should do that story. Okay, I'm not going to do this. This is already 12 minutes. I'm not going to do that story. But um, in the earlier, let's skip that. If you guys want to know about the story, let me know. And I will do a story time just about that story. Because it was a long story. And, you know, oh, you know, you know. Okay. So, um, that was the first time she saw me in makeup. Um, <laughs> um, so then, going, pushing forward. So then when I started doing YouTube, you know, she would tell me, okay, darken up the lips, change the lip color, put more blush, do this, do that. You know, I, so every time I would do a look, I would just go to her and I'd be like, okay, what you think? Sometimes she would tell me something. I'm like, girl, that was back in the days. Girl, I'm not going to do it. So she would be like, okay, why are you asking me for? Why? You, ¿Por qué tú me estás preguntando entonces? ¿Para qué tú me preguntas? Dime. Okay, that was her response. Okay, well, my bad. Entonces no me preguntes si tú sabes lo que tú te vas a poner. Sorry, you know. So, um, honey, she was very sassy with the mouth, honey. She didn't care. Okay, when she was sick, she didn't care. When, I don't know if I still have some videos up. When I was having the video in the hair salon that we used to have in, in Austin, Georgia, she, you know, I used to do makeup, and she used to be right there in the back. So she used to see me doing it and hear me doing it. Uh, so she never judged me for that. Um, when I decided to be more masculine, she never, you know, it was never, uh, okay, what are you doing? It was always uh, make sure you're okay, make sure you're doing stuff the correct way, and you're good. So I never for once... So judged my, my mother. It was more me respecting her and I wanted to tell her and share with her than her be like, okay, don't do this, don't do that. No, I used to go shopping with her, pick out her outfit, pick out her shoes, you know, help her dress and stuff like that. Like, I, it was, I was just, we were just our best friend, you know? Like, that's how our relationship was. And I love it. It was just, she was just my girl. It, my sidekick, honey, you know, if you were my friend, you would come with me anywhere. You knew you would be in the back, honey, because it was just me and my mother, and you were coming in the back, honey. You were the third wheeling, honey. You were the third wheel, okay? Um, um, yeah, um, so I want to thank God for blessing me with this amazing, courageous, strong, independent, beautiful strong honey strong woman honey if you knew her story honey strong woman i wish more people would have gotten to know her the way i got to know her so they could know what kind of person she was and how much she went through to get where she was at and she made it and even me growing up you know now looking in you know me being older it's like i wish i would have paid attention more because being the fact that I grew up with it, I did not see it the same way I see it now because I miss her because I don't have it no more. Growing up with it, it was kind of it became kind of normal. Like, okay, this struggle happens. This is what has to be done. This is what we're gonna do, and this is what's happening. And it was just like, okay, I guess that's how life works. Because as a kid, that's all I knew. Um, you know, I'm not gonna sit here and say, you know, we had the best life because we did not. Um, you know, we were homeless. We had to live in people's houses. We had to live in people's rooms, rent rooms out. Um, it was hard. It was hard. It was it was hard. I, I never had it easy. It's hard for somebody from another country to come to this, to the United States or another country and start from scratch with the help of God, the angels, meaning people that he sends you, and faith, and build off of that. It's hard. Okay, it's hard. 
If you guys, I know a lot of people, a lot of you guys know how hard it is for to start from scratch. So it's really, really hard. But she did it, and she did. She she's amazing. She was an amazing woman. She, I truly miss her every single day. It's not easy. Um, that's part of why I wanted to move. I I felt um, within the more time passed, the more I started missing her, the more I started getting in states that I felt could have led to depression. So that's why I knew for a fact I had to leave the house, you know, and everybody takes it differently. But I mean, am I happy that I left the house? I'm I'm extremely happy because of that. But I am not happy at the fact that we're living in hotels and all of that. And I'm not happy about that. I wish I was in my place now. But I, I knew I needed it for myself to leave out the house. Um, So I am glad about that. But yeah, but today is her birthday. So happy birthday, mom. I love you. I miss you. And see you one day. Hopefully I'm doing good enough to go to heaven, honey. <laughs> okay. So you guys, um, that's it. That's all I want to talk about. This video is already 18 minutes, 19 minutes, too long. Um, but I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for all the new support. I'm going to go and edit this video and post this video. And yeah, I love you guys so much. And I will see you guys in my next video. And yeah, love you guys. Bye.